Hi guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I'm going to do my June calendar layout, and it is a two-page 12 by 12 layout. I've got this green cardstock in the back, this 12 by 12, and then this light purple that it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Just realized I forgot to ink around the edges of it, but I'm not going to stress and worry about that. I have inked around everything else, and that <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> um, I've got several images on this two-page layout, and um, the main images will come from Scrapping Bug Designs, and it will come from two different cut files from Scrapping Bug Designs, and I will link that in the description box below. And then a lot of them just come from the Cricut cartridges as well. The first thing I'm going to lay down is my banner piece, and this banner piece came duplicate exactly like this, but duplicate, and I just cut it in half, and it comes, you can get this from two different places. Cricut offers it um, under the Chill Out cartridge by Miss Kate's Cuttables, or you can buy it through Miss Kate's Cuttables. Now my banner piece is cut at 6.87 by 2.69 and I am going to just glue this into place. If um, that glue's clogged, let's see if I can unclog it. Yeah, here we go. And this is the Ranger Multi Matte Medium, my favorite wet glue. It's a little bottles, but it goes a long way. It goes a real long way, actually. And it dries clear and matte, <laughs> so it can't ever be seen <laughs> when it oozes out. Or when you do that. right there and then <clears throat> I have a Sun that I have cut and paper piece together it's cut at 3.94 by 3.90 it comes from one of my um, cut files from scrapping bug designs and I am going to use my PG gun to put that down. I'm going to put it up here in this this corner. And then my next image is actually a scallop border and I'm using this as grass. It's cut at 11 and a half by 3.79 comes from the Cricut cartridge ribbons and rosettes. about the halfway point on my page. Put it right there. And then I have a photo mat. The yellow layer is six and a half by four and a half. The blue layer is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And it will hold a four by six photo. Pop it right about here. <clears throat> now my next image is a little barbecue grill with tongs and a fire and flame coming out. My grill comes from a Scrapping Bug Designs file as well. It's cut at 3.24 by 5.73 and I've even doodled on it with my white gel pen. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but I did put Winkostella 
on the orange part of the flame. And everything in the, um, all of my images on this layout are all paper pieced together. I didn't do any print and cut. I think I'm going to use a little wet glue on the legs of my grill. I'm going to place it right here. And then my next image is a little Adirondack chair that I paper pieced together. I also doodled with my black glaze pen the lines on the chair so you could tell that it was an Adirondack. And it is cut at 3.84 by 3.58, and it comes from the Cricut cartridge, Life is a Beach. I'm going to use a little more wet glue here to get on these the arm that's so thin. And I'm going to place it right about here. That's the grill master's chair. <laughs> and then my next item is my title, June. I've got it cut at 6.66 by 3.03. .03. This comes from the Scrapping Bug Design cut file. And I have inked around everything and then I doodled all around it too. The, the deep pink uh, cardstock, I did my black glaze pen. And then on the green background layer, I used my white Jelly Roll pen. I'm going to place it right down here at the bottom of my page. And then I forgot to write down the measurements of my flowers. I've got uh, several of those. Um, but this comes from Easter Phrases with Miss Kate's Cuttables, again in Cricut Design Space. Or you can buy it from Miss Kate's Cuttables website as well. I got this popped up on foam tape and just taking the backing off there. Let me see if I can do a quick measurement of this. If I can find a ruler. It's one and a half by one and a quarter. One and a half by one and a quarter is how I cut it. And I'm going to pop it right down here on the bottom. And I was trying to make my June title kind of look like watermelon. Do you think I succeeded? I'm kind of happy with it. I think it does. But I think it does too because that's how I wanted it to do and I'm kind of pleased with it. So let me pull in my second page and get this one out of the way here and get my other banner piece that I'm going to put down there. And again, obviously this is, I gave you the measurements of this earlier and that was after, when I told you it came um, 
double. I measured it after I cut it in half, so it's the same size. And to cut it this big, you'll have to cut it in half too, because it'll be too, too large if you don't. And then I'm going to put this in the right hand corner as well. And I doodled around it as, as well with my black glaze pen like I did the other one. I forgot to say that. Now, I had a leftover cloud from my May layout. Uh, so I don't remember the measurements. I know that it comes from that uh, May cut, cut file from Scrapping Bug Designs, but I don't remember the measurement of this cloud that I wanted to use and so that it didn't go to waste. And I'm just going to pop it right about here. And then I have the other grass border that I am going to place down. And I'm going to put it at the bottom of my page. It will go right there. And then my other um, photo mat, again, will hold a 4x6 photo. I'm going to place it right here, going the other direction. And then my next image is my little bear flying a kite, coming out of the cake, which is for Scrapping Bug Designs, and I did the googly eyes again. I think they look so cute with the googly eyes. And he's cut at 6.83 by 9.60. And I am going to lay him down flat. I'm going to put him right here. And I doodled a little bit with my black glaze pen on his muzzle. And then with my white jelly roll pen, I doodled on the kite and on the centers of the little ribbons on his kite string, too. And I popped his little muzzle up with foam tape and his little paws up with foam tape as well. Now, my next image is my watermelon. It comes from Miss Kate's Cuttables Summer. It's cut at 3.13 by 2.12. I've doodled all around it, and I use my um, Winkastella for the seeds in the watermelon, and I've got it popped up on foam tape as well. And I'm going to place it right about here. And then I have more flowers that I want to uh, get down. And the little pink one, let me see here again with the measurements. Two inches, two inches by two inches for the, for the large pink one. Put it there. And then the little blue one is just shy of one and a half by just shy of one, yeah, one and a half inches. I'm going to put it here. And then my large yellow one. 
is one and three quarters by one and a half. And I'm going to put it right down here. And then my blue one is two inches by two inches. Put it down here. And then my little pink one is one and a half by one and a half. And I'm going to put it right about here. And then I cut out a cute little ant that I paper pieced together holding a big bright red apple that I actually used Win Costella on the apple. My little ant is cut at 1.98 by 3.19. It comes from the chill out cartridge by Miss Kate's Cuttables. And I've got it popped up on foam tape. that I'm going to put right here dancing in the flower bed because it's picnic time. <laughs> so that is my two-page June calendar scrapbook layout. So I hope you guys enjoy it and give it a try and I hope you like the way that it came out. I'm quite pleased with it. Thanks for watching. Cheers!